crop circles appear around the world, but the large majority are found in Wiltshire, a small corner of southwest England. Renowned for pagan rituals, Wiltshire is cloaked in centuries of mystery, famous as the site of seemingly inexplicable unearthly occurrences. Okay. This is amazing. Often discovered near sacred sites, the circles appear between April and August, when crops are most abundant in the fields. To me, these are sacred artifacts. If they were movable, we should be putting them in the National Museum. Some claim a mystical link between the circles and Wiltshire's many ancient monuments, such as Stonehenge and the Avebury Stone Circle. If you follow the evidence, if you go where the evidence leads, I believe this is a very significant phenomenon. And I think what's happening now is we're on the brink of a paradigm shift in our world view. Others believe the circles are so powerful that they're monitored by the authorities. An element of the British military establishment is well aware that something strange is going on here and they're keeping an eye on it. And with thousands of people flocking to see them every year, the phenomenon continues to gain international attention. But do any of the theories stand up to investigation? Are all crop circles man-made? Or is there more to this alluring mystery than meets the eye? It's a mystery because there is evidence that just simply cannot be explained away. The earliest representation of a crop circle occurs in a woodcutting from 1678. Known as the mowing devil, it appears to depict a horned creature making a circle in a field of oats. More recently, crop circles mysteriously became a regular fixture of British summertime in the late 1970s. The phenomenon grew rapidly, and by the 1980s, there was a substantial research community and the world's media were reporting on these enigmas of the fields. Release cornfields for another three weeks. Vernon Man News at 10, Wiltshire. I feel intuitively that they are some sort of communication from the air. The UFO phenomena and the crop circles are totally connected. And it's to uh, reawaken an ancient knowledge that we've forgotten. Then, in 1991, two men came forward claiming responsibility. We wanted to make the UFO Society think that a UFO had landed, you see. Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley insisted they had been building the formations for the last 14 years. No one believed us. They didn't want it to believe us because they'd set their minds that what was causing it was something else, not human beings at all. At first, the research community was stunned. I, I just don't believe them, no. But they quickly countered the claims. It's not consistent at all with the genuine phenomenon. And as the designs have evolved, enthusiasts argue that there's proof not all circles are made by hoaxes. The mainstream trivialization of this event does not fit with the physical facts, the anomalies, the science, the, the measurements, and the videos that have been taken of orbs, UFOs, black helicopters. There's obviously more going on here. 